Okay, everyone, so this is a video that I think needs to be um, put up. And it's probably going to make a lot of people mad at me, but you know what? <laughs> I would rather these people be mad at me and be convicted and maybe start thinking about what they're doing and maybe, just maybe, make it into the kingdom rather than please everyone and shut up and not say a thing. All right, so I'm just going to talk about a few things in this video that I have been noticing out of people on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, so there are these people that call themselves Christians and some of them even go to church. And in fact, if you were to go to some of these people's churches, maybe the ones lifting their hands in the air and putting on a big show for everyone. But yet, when they get out of the church, they sure as heck show another side to them. Lukewarm Christians, pukewarm Christians, I call them, who are going to be just vomited out of the mouth of God. God is disgusted by these people. And so, you have these people who call themselves Christians, and some of them even go to church... And they'll put on the biggest show in church, but then outside of church, they'll talk about how terrible Halloween is. But then they don't think anything about observing all the rest of the worldly holidays that are just considered vain celebrations to God. So God has given us his feast and festivals to observe. And yet, no, that's not good enough for them. That's not good enough for these Christians. Oh, no, they must hold on to all of the world's pagan holidays that were passed down through their families. And they're not willing to change. Oh, no, they're not willing to make a change. They're just going to continue doing it because that's what they've always done. And they don't want to upset their friends and their families. Because if they st stop keeping the holidays, then all their other friends and family members will, will be upset with them. Or they won't fit in. Well, guys, we're not called to fit in. The Bible says, come out from among them and be separate. Touch not the unclean things, I will receive you to myself. So, we are not on this, I mean, honestly, the Bible says friendship with the world is uh, in, enmity with God. So, you know, we're not here to make a bunch of friends and fit in. We're here to tell the truth. And we're here to live the truth in front of everyone. No matter how hard that is. So, I hear these people, you know, they talk about, oh, how terrible Halloween is. But... Then you have your Christians who actually do the trunk or treats and have a little party at the church during this time, which is just as bad. It's just as bad. You're still observing uh, the same day with the rest of society. And it doesn't matter if you call it trunk or treat or if you call it, call it a church party so that the, the people, you know, so the kids don't feel left out so the people have somewhere to go no how about they stay home and read the bible together on that night how about that how about they come together as a family and pray that night for all the evil that goes on around this time of year for all of the satanic witchcraft that goes on instead of going to their church parties or whatever it's a joke it's just compromise. You want to know what that is? Giant word, compromise. That's what that is. So they want to talk about how terrible Halloween is. Some of them, like some of them that actually don't do the trunk or treats and don't do the church parties and they don't observe anything at all. But then they'll, they'll do Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll do Christ Mass. Yes, that was passed down by the Roman Catholic Church of all churches. <laughs> The most blasphemous church in existence. And, um, but that's okay. That's okay. They can celebrate that holiday. Because we just put Christ into it. No. Christ was never in this holiday. 
to begin with. God is pretty clear in his word we're to have nothing to do with the ways of pagans. We're not to celebrate the world's holidays with them. No, God has given us his feasts and his festivals. He, you know, um, nowhere in the, his word does he talk about it's okay to celebrate Christmas or it's okay to celebrate any other worldly holiday. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that's okay. Just because the birth story is in the Bible doesn't mean that we're supposed to make a holiday out of it. Okay, God is very clear. He gave his feast and his festivals. He said, these are the days you, you are to observe. And it's supposed to be done forever throughout your generations. And some people like to say, oh, that's just for the Jews. Oh, that's just been canceled. Um, that's in the old law, the old covenant. Yeah, we have a new covenant now. And no, we have a new system of doing things. But God's rules never change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. And he has made it very clear in his word what we're supposed to do and what we are not supposed to do. And if you're really in the truth, you should be being led by the Holy Spirit. You should have discernment, and you should be able to tell what is the right thing to do and what is not. So I'm so tired of these people calling themselves Christians who go to church and probably even put on a big show for everyone. And then they don't do what God said to do. They keep all the pagan holidays. They um, are the same people who talk about buying 50 pairs of shoes. Okay. While there are some people in this world who can't even afford a new pair of shoes. And some people are wearing shoes that are falling apart. That are in the poorer areas. And you're talking about buying 50 pairs of shoes. Shame on you. Shame on you. These are the same Christians who are posing for selfies, showing off all their expensive clothing, showing off their jewels, showing off their vacations, worshiping their family members. Oh, it's all about my husband. It's all about my kids. Oh, look at my beautiful home and all my stuff in it. Look at all of our fancy vehicles. And these people are just greedy and they love money. And that is their number one love. It is not Jesus. It is not Yeshua. And these people are lukewarm Christians and they're sitting in your churches. These people who are doing the same things I'm talking about right now. And I see, you know, some of you get on social media and you watch soap operas and you watch, watch shows and movies that no Christian should even be watching. And yet you call yourselves Christians. It's really, really sad. There's a lot of lukewarm Christians out there and many of them are lost in false doctrine and one of the major false doctrines that they're lost in is the hyper grace doctrine the doctrine that says oh you can just believe and you got a free ticket into heaven that's one of them I see a lot of you out there who have female pastors the Bible is very clear that no female may become a pastor. It's in the scripture. And if you have a female pastor, that woman is in direct rebellion against God and she will not go to heaven. I am sorry. You need to reevaluate why you allow yourself to sit under a woman pastor. Okay? And I think I've said everything I need to say in this video. I just wanted to get on here today and talk about some of these really lukewarm Christians who God is going to vomit out of his mouth because they're not doing what he said to do. They're doing what they want to do. It doesn't matter what you want to do. What matters is what does God say to do. If you're rebelling against what God says to do, you're not in the truth. I don't care who you are. You're not in the truth, and you're not on your way to heaven. 
So evaluate your lives, guys. And uh, I believe this video just needed to be, some of this stuff needed to be said. This video needed to be done. Talk to y'all later.